anytime I play Avalanche and go through this section of the map, I feel like there's just something missing here. Something to make this area more interesting and, you know, you have this large amount of space, why not use it? So, I actually did that. I give to you Cavern, an enclosed arena style map inside Avalanche. Uh, a friend and I, we were like speculating you could build a map inside this area. And I was like, I immediately was like, yeah, you could put a base over here in the bottom corner and then a base up at the top. And he's like, yeah, that, I guess that could work. I'm like, no, it will work. And I will show you. And this is actually the first map that has been ported from MCC to original Halo 3, as you will see. There's just areas that you can tell that they're... I mean, you can do this in OG, but it is very difficult. Like, this kind of stuff. Like, that is almost damn perfectly aligned with each of those storage containers. Um, but let's let's go ahead and start um, up at the let's go let's start at the lower. Let's start at the blue base, the attacker base here. Um, this is the initial spawn would be right here for Slayer. And we have a plasma pistol off to the left here every 30 seconds. Deployable cover, 30 seconds. This is key for uh, other game types like uh, King of the Hill. One of the hills is right here. Uh, capture the flag. I guess that could be useful. And we have this gravity lift over here that will take you up to snipe. Snipe is every two minutes. You can jump up here. This is the best sniping spot. No one can jump. The only way to get up here is from the backside, unless you have a hammer or you do a grenade jump. But um, no way of jumping up here without taking damage. And then over here in the corner, we have some flame grenades. Just a little incentive to stay up here to just go all the way up. Even if you don't snipe, you can come up here to get some flame grenades and chuck them down into, you know, chuck them into the lift and see if you get a kill that way or just throw it oh that was interesting the the main cannons are very uh very interesting how they work um they have like a very extended hitbox of where they actually activate um the dropping back down we got some frag grenades right here every 20 seconds battle rifle off to the left great peak spot right here fire at the defending base you jump up we'll go down to this lower section first um, but I want to show that you can run up on this ledge here this is where you would do the hammer launch to get up here or a grenade jump like so dropping down here the lower section of blue we have active camo 150 seconds we have some plasma grenades right here. You jump up, we have like the shield door at the top section. There's uh, you'll see another shield door over there. We'll uh, get to that point. Um, this is where the, I think the fourth team would spawn right here. If you're doing multi-team. Uh, we got a mauler every minute right here. Jump up, machine gun turret every uh, 150 yeah and we got these fusion cores that you can push into the lifts and see if you get lucky someone running by could get killed by the fusion core uh, off to the left here we got power drain every minute uh, we got the main cannon to take you over to the side of uh, the defending base um, when in, when you're in forage, uh, the lifts act a little differently, so it it may short me. Okay, that was fine. You're supposed to hit like right here, like you'll hit up pretty high. But I found um, to guarantee that you'll make it across, like you can jump into the lift, and you'll get like 
crazy amount of height compared to just running into it. Or you can also just like hold forward and crouch, I believe. Yeah, that works too. I, I prefer the just crouch method because you get too much height and you'll potentially knock yourself off. So we got the gravity hammer here. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up because um, there's some cool stuff we can do with it. Um, so here in the defending base, um, you can jump up like this if you want. Uh, frag grenades right here. Or you can take this ramp. We have a battle rifle off to the left. Great peak spot right here. You can see a lot of the map. Dropping down, we have another spawn right here. There's no ramp on this side, so I put a uh, a teleporter uh, node to indicate that you need to jump. Just a little bit of a you know warning signs. I did have a uh, there is a I did have a ramp right here, but the um, the the walls have really weird physics. Like you'll see, I'll kind of glide right here. See, it's kind of gliding. Um, so when you would be going up the ramp, sometimes you would just lose traction and you would slide back down the ramp. So I had to um, make this just a jump up, which is fine. Um, over here, it's still at red base. You can jump up into this tube area and there's a needler. You have to crouch to go through here. There's rockets, as you can see, that comes up every 150 seconds with one spare clip. Gonna spawn right here facing regen every minute. This is a good holding position right here. You can see a lot of the map. And then you can jump up even higher to get up on this plasma cannon. Fire from up here. Great for uh, playing one flag to defend. Another fusion core on the other side you can push in. We'll take out anybody that's running by right there. Um, more plasma grenades right here. You have to jump, crouch into here. Needler, as you saw. Um, now I'll show you the fun stuff you can do with the hammer with these crates. Hammer them into the lifts and they'll <laughs> go back and forth. I've already gotten a couple kills with it. Uh, that was a short one. Usually it goes back and forth at least five times. Oh no, we lost the other crate right here. We'll have to wait for this one. This one's the easier to knock in. Um, can you make this crouch jump? Yes, you can. Um, but that crate right here really helps for making the jump uh, to the turret side over here. Um, you can make it without it. Pretty easy. There's a lot of cool jumps you can do. You can jump across um, to the other side right here. I just, I just messed up. And then if you if you do it right, you can like hammer launch yourself. Um, uh, I'm not that good. There's the there's the crate. Okay, let's do this one. There we go. Oh god, that went off really weird. Never mind. We're not gonna get a good crate. They spawn every minute, so that other one's up. Um, you can be constantly doing that. Um, so you can obviously go off the lift right here and uh, people are fighting in the center of the map, you can definitely get some uh, assassinations or melees and it pull you out of the uh, the uh, lift's path that you're taking. So it'll just like cut you off and you'll land right here. Um, it's really funny. Let's, uh, let's knock this other crate in, see if we can get a good... Uh, There we go, that's pretty nice. Oh my god. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> oh my... <laughs> I purposely put those right here to like get the crate to come... Yeah, to land back into the lift. Wow, look at that go. Let's see if we can kill ourselves. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Alright. No oh, no, I despawned. It's really fun to just, I just get on this map and just smack the crates in and then see if I can get killed by it. Oh, we lost them again. <laughs> but it's also really funny when the uh, the crate lands in the center here and then it just becomes an extra obstacle or it lands up here and you can use it to jump up to get to the top of this crate. 
Um, overshield every two minutes to incentivize people to go in the middle. Uh, also, there is a bubble shield down here every two minutes. Very useful for the center of the map. Um, and you can access any lift from like top mid, basically. You'd be like, okay, I wanna go, oh, camo's up, so I'm gonna jump into the lift and launch myself over here to camo. And then, you know, vice versa. But you can even shove the fusion core into the lift while the, uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. You shove the uh, fusion core in while the crate is going back and forth and it'll hit the crate mid-air and, uh, possibly time it just right. Yeah. It hit it upwards, but like sometimes it'll hit it downwards and if anybody's right here, it, you know, make, you may get a kill that way. You could also jump on the side. But oh my God. You cannot, you cannot guess where that thing is gonna go. Let's see. Oh my God, that was very close. Okay, I think it despawned, yeah. Um, as you can see, I'm, I've had a lot of fun with the, the crate on this map. Uh, you can also, I think you can, uh, oh, shoot. You can like hammer jump to the top of this. But you gotta be very careful not to land on the lift. Oh, I gotta face, oh shoot, you gotta face the other way. Now I got this crazy momentum. We're gonna get into some gameplay footage of uh, King of the Hill here. Um, once I'm done, I, have to, I'm pretty much, I think I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna show some extra little um, cool jumps, but I'll put it like a timestamp. You can skip to gameplay if you wanna see that. But, uh, oh yeah, see with the crates right here, it's so easy to make this jump. So easy to make this jump. Um, you can also make this jump from here to this ledge. This ledge isn't that useful other than um, it's really good to psych out your opponents if they're um, in this area and or yeah if they're like in this area and you came from uh, you came from top mid and then you jump right right here for a second and then run across they they think you may be you know down here but you switch back and it's like there's no way you could have jumped back over there that fast if you were actually right here. You know what I mean? Because it's like right above. So that's really fun to use against your opponents. Um, you can blow up the gravity lift. It's every 10 seconds, so uh, it can kind of throw people off when they get over here and it's uh, it's gone. But... I think that's an interesting mechanic to think about. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's the jump to. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's the jump to Overshield from right here. You jump on this little lip of this barricade area, and then jump like this. You get Overshield. That one's kind of tricky. It's easy to like, go too far to the right, and then you just like barely not make it um, this jump to get over to regen it's really good to use jump up here and jump across grab regen um, a jump from up here to this um, red ledge this is a very good position to be like in this corner right here like you can just stay up here and Anything starts to happen, you can jump across back into the base. Um, very common to use. You can jump from here as well. Jump across. Lots of cool jumps. Um, only people that are watching this video will know, but <laughs> there's the soccer ball. There's the soccer ball. I try to put soccer balls in all my all my maps now. Oh, it's gonna go into the lift. <laughs> yeah. Imagine getting a kill with the soccer ball. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, 
if you ever do that, send me a video. I really wanna, really wanna see that. Um, we didn't pick up rockets, but yeah, rockets right here. Um, two extra, or one extra clip. Very useful. It's easy to forget it's over here, especially with those spawns facing inwards. You just run forward. Um, but anytime you spawn here, it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt to just turn around and go check and see if it's there. Because um, going off the slip with rockets, very strong. A uh, couple. Oh, there's. So the soccer ball does never, uh, never respawns. So if it falls off the map, it's off the map for the whole match. So you restart the round or have a new game. Uh, there's a jump. You cannot make this jump. It looks like you can, but you, you know, you cannot make it. Like unless maybe MLG speed, you can make it. Um, this jump right here is really good to use to get the hammer. Also, this jump, get the top of the base, crouch jump up here. And you can get up here, but um, it's not very useful because uh, players can see you from, they can see your legs while you're up there and you can't see them. So you're just getting shot at <laughs> without doing much damage. Um, so I don't really recommend going up there. I could easily block it off, but I figured since the fact you can get up there and you're not, <laughs> you don't have an advantage when you're up there, so it's, why block it off? Uh, let's do, let's try to get a crate and a crate um, hit each other in midair. Okay. God, I might die. Okay. Hey! Oh, two crates in the center! Let's go! That's cool. See, then you can jump up here. And you can jump across here. And then you can go across over here if you want to. Just keep going around. There's just like so many ways to get around this map. If you know what you're doing. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's probably gonna be some slight changes, but, um, yeah, thanks to Cody. I don't know if he wants a complete shout out, but, um, I'll, uh, I'll ask him if he, if he wants a shout out, I'll tag him in a comment, but he's the one that, uh, was able to convert the MCC file to, to an OG file. I'd like had to put it in Horizon and then put it on a flash drive and then just plug it into my Xbox and it, and it works. Uh, so I'm going to be making maps in MCC. This map is on MCC as well. It's in my file share. It's just called Cavern. Uh, the MCC version has slight differences um, that I, I might go and modify them. Like this area is, uh, they have the tin, the grass uh, tin cup where you flip it upside down and it's like grass. And the back of the base over here is uh, grass as well. It's just like a little grassy area, which is aesthetically looks nicer than this, but um, OG Avalanche does not have, uh, does not have a tin cup, as you can see. Um, yeah. Just soccer ball. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna be building more in MCC and then we'll port it over. Eventually, Cody said that there will be a, uh, a website where you can just convert the file um, yourself. Um, so that would be really exciting. Um, currently, right now, I have to kind of bother him to <laughs> convert these files. But uh, yeah, go download the uh, MCC version, just called Cavern on uh, on my Garrett account, I'll put a uh, little thing up on the screen. But uh, we'll get into. I think there's. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a community uh, playlist for Halo Three matchmaking that we're putting together. Um, I'm not putting together, but we sent in uh, a bunch of my maps and um, some other people in the Halo Three community. For uh, matchmaking, so it's going to be all community-made maps, 
called Community Carnage. And uh, I'm really excited to see what it, what maps we're going to be. Just to have the rotation of new, fresh maps rather than, you know. We love the Bungie maps, but, you know, we've played them long enough. I, I'm ready to, you know, get some crazy games on some forge made maps it just makes the game feel fresh and new again so that that should be happening pretty soon um and i'll be posting videos on that so very excited but let's get into some gameplay thanks for watching guys Hill 
Ill control. Ill control. Ill control. 